Hi all, I am Mohammed Naji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will try to explain how can we fetch the query parameters or the request body in AWS serverless function or Lambda function. So first go to the AWS console. From console we can search for lambda function. Okay. Just click on the AWS lambda function. Then try to do a create function. Then select the first option. Okay, from scratch. Then can give some some name here, function name. Then select runtime currently I'm going to select this as a Python 3.8 then we can keep the permissions as default just click on the create function so it may take couple of seconds to complete the creation so we can wait for couple of seconds so once it's done okay yeah it's done okay so we will have a interface something like this okay here we have some pseudo code is also added so we can just create a uh, okay we, we can go to the configuration create a public url okay we don't just select none okay this is this is not definitely for the production environment so production environment like we have to use some auth type okay currently i'm making it as a like a public url okay here we got the url so just me click on this url okay hello from lambda okay fine it's working fine now now we can see like how first we can see how can we get the query parameters so for that we can try to print what's happening in this what's coming in this event parameters so i'm just copying this and I'm pasting it here, okay, JSON dump. So whenever we make any changes, we need to ensure that we deploy it, okay. So I have deployed it. Now, let me take this URL. This is a URL, I believe. Just close this one. Let me take Postman. I'm just going to click here okay so it gives a internal error so let me come here let me see what's what's went wrong so event is here some board is here let me let me take configuration let me copy this again Maybe I can take another tab, click on this URL, just type it. Okay, now we are getting the values. Maybe some issue with the deployment. So let me copy this and paste this to a viewer. So online viewer. Refresh it. So when we come to this viewer part, we can see that all the information with respect to this request is in that event parameters. We can see a request context. We can have a header. Here we have a raw path. Here we have a raw query string. Okay. Now we can add the query parameters. I am going to add a query parameters name equal to Naji. Okay. Now let me try to run again. So we will again we will get all the JSON structure. Again, just okay, let me refresh it. Sometimes it will not get affected. So I can copy and paste here. So here, when we analyze this data, we can see that okay, here we have a raw query string name equal to uh, Naji. Then when we come to here, we will get a Query string parameters 
so this is in a kind of a json structure here we will we can see that okay name equal to naji so we can actually make use of this particular json structure okay key value pair this is a kind of a key value pair we can make use of this name equal to naji so this is the query string parameters maybe i can just copy this one to avoid any errors so let me come here here i am going to write content equal to even dot get okay now instead of even i am going to pass this content spelling is cast content Let's deploy it now we can test it okay so here we can we now we have extracted that query parameters from the event body i mean the api body so here we can we have like a name equal to naji now let us just modify it like we can have like uh, content equal to to extract the name we can use content equal to name so let's see like what's changed see here we got the exact value the value that we have expected okay in this way we can extract all the query parameters from the url okay if we can add like n number of parameters and we can fetch something like this okay now now we can try to fetch something from uh, the request body okay so let me change to json okay let me remove this one and i'm going to add body here here we can say name is equal to uh, naji okay sorry not equal to colon we can come here and we can we can for the time being we can assign the event as content now deploy it same thing same thing i just assigned a, a event to a variable okay then deploy it now we can run this okay so we will have the the entire structure here we can copy this s yes, usually like we can paste this to the online editor okay see here we can see that this body parameters so the body that we have given okay name equal to naji so let, maybe we can add like one more parameters here one more parameters uh, maybe uh, type so we are doing demo so i am adding type equal to demo so let me send this one just copy this one i'm 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 using this json viewer okay it's very easy to analyze the data see we can see that we have a name and we have a type okay so this is in a string format okay so we can fetch the body using the keyword body okay so let me come to the uh, aws lambda function so here we can we can update get body now deploy it now we can try okay we can try this one see we will have the data we will have the name and we can have the type now as we did in the query parameters we can try to extract one key from here say name so here we are trying to modify and we we deploy whenever we make a any change please ensure that we deploy it then only like it will reflect in that environment see here when i try to give the name okay as a key it is returned as a like internal server error so we can go and check 
again we can we can just remove it we can deploy it okay then we can check it again okay see in query parameter when we try to access the data it it's actually by default is in a dictionary format okay but body is not in a dictionary format it is returning as a string format so that is why like we, we can't go directly uh, directly access the key name or the type like that so first we need to convert this into a json format okay so let me let me try to convert this into json format we can use json dot load hope everybody is familiar with this function okay. now let me deploy this now let me try to send this okay now we are getting it as a kind of a json format now we can access it as a key value pair now i can come here and i can access my name just deploy it and test it okay see we are getting the name the value of a name as naji now i can just convert this into type then deploy it ensure that for any change we have to deploy it come here in the postman just type it okay. we are getting the value as demo now if you want to get some uh, here i am giving like naji okay let me and so i am going to comment this one i'm going to again i'm going to assign the event okay so i'm going to deploy it i'm i have deployed it see here i have added a new uh, new url here uh, called naji so we can see like what's up what hap what change in that event parameter okay i'm just running it so let me copy and paste this into the viewer for the better visualization i am in the viewer part see we will have this raw path is available see raw path as naji when we come to header header has the information so we can make use of this raw path so the similar way we can just change the code okay aws lambda we can try to get even dot get raw path okay just deploy it just run it see we are getting this raw path so in this way also like we can extract the details so guys that is uh, all about uh, accessing the parameters and the body uh, everything from this event function okay thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day